Attention please, 10 minutes to curtain. We now change scenes to a rundown Chinese restaurant in Chicago, the setting of David Mamet's Glengarry Glen Ross. As rehearsals began for the upcoming show, I had the opportunity to speak with members of the production about Mamet's brilliant script. I put it together in a segment I like to call The Music of Mamet. Glengarry Glen Ross is, uh, uh, on, on its surface, is a play about four salesmen, and they're in the midst of a sales contest where the person who makes the most sales will uh, win a Cadillac. And of course, the second prize is steak knives. And the third prize is you're fired. Mamet has a very particular style of using, the, using language. He has language that seems very particular and very real uh, that comes out of this um, world of these salesmen. But then he takes that language and he sort of elevates it so that it actually has a kind of poetic rhythm to it. There are a lot of um, ellipses, there are half-finished sentences, and also half-finished words. And this is actually the way we talk in real life. It's two. It is. It's you get two. a bad month. Uh, all of, uh, You're on this all of you, you, they got you on this board. I, I, some I, contest board. I, it's not right. It's not. No. We're staying right on David Mamet's text because the rhythm is very specific. And the rhythm will teach you what the moment is about. It's very musical, actually. The text will teach us. Mm -hmm. 